I, I feel like Stu, both teams here are really still trying to figure out the dimensions of this ice surface. It's a little rough around the edges, I think, so far. It's a lot smaller than they'd be used to playing on in, in most of the rinks, certainly in Poland and in, in the UK as well. Kirk throws a big puck on net, and well, the goal lights come on, the referee will wave it away. It is under the knees of Murray. Let's take a look at this one again. Liam Kirk's clearly figured out the dimensions of this rink early, Stu, as he uses great hands to create himself a little space, throws a puck towards the net. Oh, that's agonizingly close to GB opening the scoring here. Yeah. Lakovic is trying to keep that away from Vallega. DTD pass, Phillips will shoot up high, glove down. There's a loose puck, hacked towards the back door. Another chance, and somehow that ends up going wide of the net. Logan Nielsen, a massive opportunity coming out of the scramble. He just couldn't hit the target. He looks at the heavens, he shakes his head. That was a golden opportunity to score on his uh, international debut. Pavel Zygmunt out here on the power player. A teammate of Liam Kirk and Litmanov. Always a turnover. Nielsen takes that puck, shoots, good save by Murray. Big one time and they yeah. score! Josh Batch on the loose puck. Slams the one time and low glove side on Murray. And GB has the lead shorthanded. What a blast from Batch. What an excellent play from the penalty kill there. Betridge and Nielsen making the opportunity. Puck springs out and Josh Batch lets go of an absolute cannon from the blue line. All the way through, no chance at all for John Murray. Recovering with traffic in front, in the back of the net. What a great play from Great Britain. He's had a couple of big scoring chances in this game, Norris. Oh, and there's going to be a breakaway here for Poland. A big scoring chance of their own as Whistle makes a save. He's bumped on the play and Poland score. Well, Whistle's going to say he was interfered with. But Bartosz Franczko has put the puck in the back of the net. Let's take a look at this one again. It's a, a breakaway on the bubble puck. Jackson Whistle gets bumped, and but either way, it's immaterial as referees yeah. have waved it away. Referees have waved it off. Yeah. Jones hacks that one in on net. Oh, Murray loose puck out in front. Oh, Logan Nielsen hits the pipe. Critchlow has the net. His shot is blocked by Matthias. Let's have a look at this one again. Logan Nielsen really dialing those uh, shooting hands in. He had one on the open net in the first period. He couldn't convert. Here he only hits the iron. I think the next one's going to be three times the charms too. Yeah. Time of the penalty, Backhand sent the length seconds. by the uh, Polish defenseman. They're going to try and get the long change here. GB will bring it in the offensive zone. Polini uses Halbert at the point. Kirk back for Halbert. Polini fakes the shot, throws it through for Kirk. He has to take it via the boards. Back for Halbert. Kirk, a little bit of space on the near side wing. Polini's going to shoot now off the post, down low. There's a mad scramble again as Murray's come out aggressive. And GB again had a wonderful opportunity. Let's take a look again quickly on the uh, second puck. Another post here, agonizingly close to their second of the night. Nathaniel Halbert keeps it alive. Now they're going to try and use this space. Kirk, top of the circle. Might go himself here. Takes the back door instead and they score. Wonderful feed from Liam Kirk down to the back door. And GB get the goal on the five on three with only a second left. So we'll have some five on four. It's Brett Pellini with the final touch. And this is just how Pete Russell drew it up, Stu. Yeah, Liam Kirk yeah, takes that pass, finds Brett Pellini on the back door. And just absolutely perfectly placed to get the shot in there. Nice crossover as well here between Kirk and Halbert. Opens up the space as the players track in front. Pellini on the back door, well worked power play, well drawn up. Great Britain make the man advantage count. Five seconds to go, Poland have got possession. They should be able to just send this up ice and that'll be all she wrote in period two. They did have a breakaway and that goal won't count as the buzzer had gone. And well, I think that David Good here is furious with Komorski and was indicating that he needs to go to the box. Nathaniel Halber was furious. He's uh, had a little go at uh, Chura. But the buzzer and the whistle are clearly gone and you just can't do that, Stu. No, you, you can't do that. You, you're taking shots after the whistle. It does tend to cause the ire of teams um, as well as officials. GB able to keep this puck alive. Here's Kirk. A little bit of time on the five on three to go. About what they had last time and scored. Can they hear Kirk? Oh, off the underside of the bar. Inches away from a third for GB. 
Poland will have one man back to the ice. Oh, Kirk, you don't come any closer, Stu. GB will. Look to try and get his zone clear here. Chura. Keeping it alive. Evan Mosey. Well, they might get a piece of it, but Kate Nielsen definitely will. The lovely little chip. The hash marks Kirk. Uh, oh, off the pipe, but they put it home through Nielsen. Liam Kirk thought he got GB's 30, hits the pipe. Kate Nielsen creeps down, picks up the loose puck, deposits it into the back of the net. And GB have that third goal, Stu. Yeah, Nielsen. Uh, Passes it off to Liam Kirk. He gets the first shot off, and you can see here, rebounds off the pipes, and it actually goes in off the back of John Murray's skates. Look again there, shot comes off, bounces off the skates, and then creeps back over the line. Here's Dronia. Trying to start things up for Poland inside the last five minutes. Mosey gets a piece of that bomb that ended up just being a good dump in. Dominic Pash takes that one off the backhand, couldn't control it. Poland really ramping up the intensity. There's a loose puck and they score. On the forecheck, a broken play. It falls out to Dominic Pash. They're finally able to beat Jackson Whistle. It took them 55 minutes, but finally they get one in the GB net. It's Dominic Pash with the finishing touches too. Yeah, Pash who's got 15 goals um, during the regular season. Um, gets one there, flicks it across. Nice opportunity, uh, turn around on the broken play. Just puck comes in and then you just throw one towards net, see what happens and manage to get one past Jackson Whistle. Yeah. Poland looking to head up ice, taken away by Jones. Halbert for Pellini. Big check on Nathaniel Halbert as Pellini trying to dig this puck out the feet of the defenseman. That puck in the right area for GB. Logan Nielsen strips it away. Lovely play from Nielsen on the juggle. Good save by Murray denying the youngster. I got to say, I don't know what Logan Nielsen has to do to score tonight. He's been superb. And a big individual opportunity on the forecheck takes away the puck. The individual skill to juggle it here. And Murray just shuts the door on it. Brilliant. Yep. One last chance maybe offensively for GB. Brett Polini, who does have a goal on the night, of course. On that power play. Back in the second period. Urbanowitz has a stick lifted, David Clements able to sweep it back into the neutral zone. And that is all she wrote in a blisteringly loud Planet Ice leads. An intense physical game of hockey, just as was advertised. And a 3-1 win is the culmination for Great Britain. What a game. What a game, really. Entertaining game of hockey. And I have to say, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night already.